Hey Pisces, so we are doing the person in separation. These uh, readings so far have been all over the board from one extreme to the next. It's like somebody who barely started dating to a marriage and separation to I don't even know what's going on. So hopefully I hit with somebody that resonates with this story. I don't know where it's going to go, so we'll see. If this uh, doesn't resonate, check the previous videos because they're pretty much timeless. The only ones that I give time frames on are the singles. Um, all right, so your person's current energy. They are embodying the five of wands. So this person, they are, I feel like... Um, chaotic in their head. I feel like they are fighting with themselves, fighting over what happened within their own head. The current situation, their current situation is justice. Okay. So I feel like whatever's going on, this, their energy is away from you. And I feel like they owe you an apology for whatever it is. The balance, uh, the, the scales, um, this is, um, I feel like something that they did and they messed up and they know they messed up. All right. Let's see what happened to cause the situation. Oh, yeah. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's juggling. Recent past. We have the King of Swords. Okay, so I feel like um, this person um, could have been entertaining uh, the idea of a third party. All right, and this card right here is Gemini. Um, Justice is Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini. Okay. Um, I feel like there was some third party thing going on, but let's see. Let's clarify the recent. I'm sorry. Let's clarify what happens to cause the situation. Okay. And the recent past. Okay, yep. All right. Okay, so clarifying what happened to cause the situation. We have the two of pentacles. And then look at this right here. Eight of swords. And look at the energy in the background. And then you got these two right here. And I almost feel like that's you finding out this person's um, wrongdoings. Okay. And then what dropped with the recent past is the devil. So that, um, and you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but, um, I feel like this person placed you in third party with a, a Capricorn or a Gemini or potentially a Libra. Okay. Uh, there's a third party situation going on here and you found out, um, about somebody's devil behavior. So what are their hopes and fears? Mm-hmm. Knight of Wands. Their hopes and fears, okay, they want you to forgive them for their past, um, their past behavior, which is um, the player. This person's a player, all right? Their hopes are that um, you'll take them back and they're going to promise that they're going to change, but their fears are you're not going to take them back, all right? So what's the future? We have the Knight of Pentacles, all right? And I feel like with this energy right here, um... I'm not getting a good vibe from it, okay? To be honest, it's like for some of you, the potential to reconnect is there. It's going to be slow. You're gonna, This person's going to have to earn your trust back. But for the majority of you, I feel like... Um, I almost feel like telling you that this sneaky behavior has been going on for some time, okay? And I you know, I know the Knight is about... This, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in the deck. But right here... Okay, you know how it takes something, like with the Knight of Pentacles energy, it's like, oh, why is it taking so long to get this off the ground? I almost want to feel you time-wise. This person could have been doing this shit behind your back for quite some time, and you might not even know that, okay, for some of you. Um, how are they affecting the situation? We have the Strength card coming out, so you could be dealing with a Leo. All right. Um, they are trying to remain strong throughout this um, situation. Okay, but what I feel like is happening is like, uh, um, 
too little too late you know it's like no you mess this up let's see how you are affecting yeah you're like nah i'm gonna work on on my own shit right now you know what mm -mm. um i don't feel like i'm talking to people who are married i feel like i'm talking to somebody who's been with somebody for quite some time um uh, and it never got off the ground and it's because this person the knight of wands um they uh they didn't want to commit to you because they didn't know how to be committed. You know what I mean? Um, so they did that. At least they did that for you. So what's the advice? Yeah, seven of swords. Look at mm -hmm. this person stole your heart. They stole your emotions. They stole your feelings. That's your advice. Your team is saying, remember that because this person, I do feel like they're going to come back to you. Knight of Pentacles. They're going to, they're going to hop from Knight of Wands to Knight of Pentacles. But I also feel like the Knight of Pentacles, um, yeah, I do feel like the behavior is going on for some time, but I also feel like there, this is a perception. This is a, uh, uh, I want to say it's a fucking joke. All right. This person is not, they're not, they're not going to change. Not, not this. I feel like this is going to be an overhaul before this person changes. What's the outcome? Temperance. The outcome is you're finding balance within yourself without a person. Okay. It's, it's not a bad thing. You're just like, no, I'm going to learn how to be uh, on my own. And it doesn't mean that um, every single relationship after this is ruined for you. I feel like you are a mature Pisces and you know that not every energy is the same. All right. So um, how does this person feel about you? We have the five of cups. Look at this person is upset. They're like, fuck, I fucked up, man. I fucked up. They're upset about it. How do you feel about them? to look at you king of pentacles you're like i'm too good for you i'm not gonna let people treat me like that because i am th the king of pentacles i do embody this energy i am too good for you and how dare you treat me like that i feel like you are just fine actually with the situation i feel like you're coming here just maybe for confirmation to see if this person th still thinks about you which they do obviously very very much so so what is next for um you pisces Look at six of cups. All right. Um, what is next? I feel like if you have children, you and your children are going to move on. You guys are going to be happy. Um, but for some of you, I do feel like um, somebody from the past, I'm not talking about this relationship. I feel like the universe, because you are um, a mature Pisces and you are embodying this like God, goddess or, or godly like energy. Um, that they're going to be sending you um, somebody that is like a, a deep, uh, a deeper connection than this. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Um, what to look forward to. We have the three of pentacles. So this is coming. Th this is, this is, um, I almost feel like for some of you, you're going to be sent somebody, a, a past person, a past life with a relationship person. Or um, I do feel like there's going to be something good coming up ahead for you. And I feel like it has to do with either a deep soul connection a deep uh, past life soulmate connection or um, even somebody from your distant past coming back and if it's not that it's you and your kids moving on moving forward and moving out of this energy so even if you're hurt you know I, I feel like this is um, fresh I don't feel like it's brand new I feel like it is fresh though all right and I don't feel like you're in the energy to meet nobody but I just feel like this is um I'm just putting it out there because I feel like there might be somebody appearing while you're going through this right here. And uh, what you're going to want to do is tell the person that you, um, what you have gone through and just that you're not ready right now, you know, um, and that's a form of healing and building good karma. So let's get a message for you. Maybe. Look at release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. And I feel like that's um, very, very fitting for this spread, guys. Look at... <laughs> This, I'm talking to somebody who's like a very mature Pisces. Gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. 
and we all learn about karma and building those karmic points. All right. And I'm getting the chills right now because I feel like I'm talking to a very sophisticated Pisces. Okay. All right. Um, hey, if you guys need to reach out to me, my email is in the about me section. I'll talk to you later.